In this moment, the, the amount of plastics that we have in the world, it's enough to cover the entire world in a layer of plastic. And if I go, for example, here to the supermarkets and I go come home and see how many plastic I bring home, I ask myself, is it necessary? Over the last few decades, pollution has increased tremendously, posing serious threats to the environment and to the human health. Many studies and courses at the Wageningen University in research are involved with these topics. Three studies in particular focus a lot on the causes and effects of pollution. My name is Marisol Espino and I'm studying tourism, society and environment. So it's a study, an anthropological and environmental study of tourism, so about the effects that it has on people and on the world. Uh, with the study you can choose within three different trajectories, in an anthropological way or in an environmental way or in a management way. So you can really decide which kind of courses you want to get, depending on your interest. So uh, related to plastic pollution, the main cause or the main contribution of tourism to plastic pollution is food and beverage. So every time that you go somewhere and you expect to have like a certain specific kind of drink or uh, food that needs to come somewhere from somewhere else in the world, then you are kind of contributing to this movement of plastic. So all these kind of things you learn about and uh, also how, how to better manage it and all these kind of things. I think tourism also has a really big contribution to air pollution. Um, yeah, well, because of airplanes, of course. In the past, these, uh, these anthropogenic uh, gases emittance has just uh, increased a lot. In our study, we have got three main components, main compartments, just uh, exist of the soil, water and atmosphere. And um, air pollution is just related to the atmospheric part. And in our atmospheric part, we just learn a lot about climate change and also the uh, physical processes um, that plays a very important role in the atmosphere. When you talk about air pollution, about the uh, anthropogenic uh, gases, we just are emitted um, from the human being. So, for example, CO2, um, fluorides, chlorides. Yeah, I think uh, global warming is and climate change is a very, very recent topic and very interesting to learn more about and um, very, very important for human being and for all ecosystems on Earth. As a human being can help a lot to, to travel less with the airplane and we, we just have to, to use our bicycle more, I think. With the growing world population and the effects of plastic pollution and global warming on the environment, sustainable agriculture is becoming more and more important. The use of pesticides, however, is increasing at an alarming rate. A lot of research is done to study the effects of pesticides on the environment. The interesting thing is that pesticides are applied now since more than 60 years and the effect of the mixtures of pesticides on soil organism, on the environment, on the ecosystem is not known. So we want to find out now what is the effect of the mixtures on environmental health. Our team is a measuring team. We measure. Especially that means we measure on uh, field scale, we measure on plot scale, we make experiments in the laboratory, all related with the fate of pesticides and microplastics and the effect on the soil environment. <laughs> but it's where we work a lot with students from the Bill, Bachelor of International Land and Water Management. What we ask our students normally is in which topic would they like to contribute. For example, what is the effect of microplastics? Where do you find them? Where are sources? So I try to teach as well my students how, how to be aware of, on which things you should look, and how you could do your own part to change the world to a better, more sustainable world. You can actually make a difference, you know, like right now is the moment because right now is when it's growing and right now is when action is needed, you know, to make it better. Are you fascinated by environmental sciences and do you want to contribute to reduce pollution and get a better quality of life? Great! Check out the website to find out which bachelor program is the right one for you.